this is a tutorial for next sign set 4.2. Welcome to another video. This video is for the Science Set 4.2 and we are going to be learning about filtration using materials from the compartment B4.2.1.5. So let's just get the materials we need out. By the end of this activity, you're going to understand how to perform an activity to demonstrate filtration and also know the materials you need to do a simple filtration activity. You're going to mainly be needing this filter paper here. So you're just going to go ahead and remove the tape from the filter paper. You're going to have two filter papers, so you're going to need just one for the activity. You have two filter papers, so you can perform the activity at another time. The other thing you're going to need is some cotton to help you perform this activity. You're also going to need two bottles. One containing some dirty water and an empty bottle these are the things that you're going to need to perform your activity you also need your regular materials such as some scissors and a measuring instrument in order to measure and cut this bottle so we have some scissors here and we have I'm measuring in here. So the first thing we're going to do is to cut this bottle up. Okay? So let's just take all of these things away. So we're going to measure this bottle to about seven centimeters from the top of the bottle seven centimeters and then you're going to cut at that point Okay, so you're going to have two halves looking like this. This is going to serve as your funnel and this is going to serve as your container to collect the water. So it's going to go in like this. You're going to collect the water here. It's going to go through here. So once you have this, the next thing you're going to do is to prepare your filter paper for your filtration. So in order to do that, you're going to spread your filter paper like this, okay? Because it might fold up due to packaging, you can turn it over this way, okay? Now once you're done, so you're going to put your ruler just about midway, just about midway, and you're going to fold the paper, okay? Just about midway. Okay. So you're going to end up with something like this. You're going to do another fold. Again, just about midway. Just about midway. 
and you're going to fold that as well so you end up with something looking like this and when you are done it's very simple you pick any point on there and you make a simple funnel shape so you get a simple cone shape a simple cone shape and that is going to help you do the filtration so the dirty water is going to go through here the filter paper is going to filter it and then it's going to come out this way the next thing you're going to do is to put a bit of cotton inside of your cone so you're going to need some cotton and you're going to put that to put some cotton into your cone just about the tip of it so the cotton will serve as the first barrier before the dirty water gets even to the filter paper the next thing we're going to do is to get our improvised funnel so with our improvised funnel we're going to place our filter paper neatly into it like this nice and firm into it like this so we're going to have something that looks like this and at the entrance here we have the filter paper pointing out Once you have your improvised funnel and your filter paper cone plus some cotton already like this, then you go and bring the other half of the bottle you cut, which is going to serve as the collecting bowl. Then you place your improvised funnel into it like this. So you have a setup that looks something like this. And this is the setup we're going to use to filter some water. So the water goes through here, it goes through the cotton, goes through the filter paper, and then it's collected down here. So we're going to bring in our dirty water, which we're going to try and then filter using our nice setup here. So to do that, you're going to simply just take your water, you can check it around a little bit to make sure it is indeed filthy with all the suspended particles. Then you're going to pour that into the filter paper. Now in doing that, be very careful not to pour too much so that the water goes over the filter paper. So you're just going to gently aim and pour into the center onto the cotton. Just gently, gently pour. And then you should see the water slowly drip into the collecting bowl like this as it passes through the cotton and the filter paper. So as it filters, it goes down, you can add a little bit more water let's keep going let's try and filter as much water as possible and whenever you're pouring be very careful not to pour the water such that it goes over the filter paper always make sure you've poured just enough to remain inside the filter paper 
because if it goes over the filter paper, then it's not going to go through all the various layers you've put in place. It's just going to go over the filter paper and straight into your collecting bowl. So there you have it. Dirty water and a simple filtration setup that we've done. I don't think the water is drinkable yet, but at least you can clearly see that the water that has gone through the filtration system we have here is much cleaner than the filthy water that we poured into it. And another thing is that when you look on top of the filtration system you see all the dirty particles and some items suspended particles and things that have all been trapped by the cotton in the filter paper that we have and all of that bit would have been in the water but because of the filter paper and the cotton they've all been trapped on top here and relatively cleaner water has gone through the filtration system. So there you have it. A very simple activity showing how we can use a filter paper to filter some dirty water. In this activity, we've learned the materials that we need to do this filtration activity. We need the filter paper, some cotton, a funnel, and a collecting bowl. And of course, the filthy water that we are going to be filtering. This activity, as always, was made possible using the Deck Science Set 4.2.